Hey everyone, my name is Anders and today we are going to go over this week's Black Desert patch. Some good news or bad news depending on how you felt about the latest test server patch. The forward guard, super armor and CC changes we saw to many classes in the last global apps patch has been delayed due to player feedback we can assume. I didn't go over this in a video since, you know, holiday season and all, it is a busy time. But to give you an idea of what happened last week in the test server, here is what changed to Warrior, Wizard and Wusa. Awakening Warrior, Reckless Blow had SA throughout the entire skill. Flow Ankle Break lost a Bound CC and gained Super Armor throughout. Frenzied Strikes lost Knockdown CC and gained Super Armor as well. For Wizard, it gained SA on Speed Spell and Magical Shield. Succession Wizard also gained SA on Magical Evasion. Reign of Fire also gained SA instead of Forward Guard. Awakening Wizard's Flow Aqua Bomb gained Forward Guard. And Elementalization now had SA at the end of the skill, making it fully protected. Awakening Musa gained SA on its mini E buff. Flow Such on Field gained Forward Guard as well. Bloom Burst lost Stun CC and gained Forward Guard. Bloom Deluge lost Knockdown CC and gained Forward Guard. Mark of the Moon lost Stun CC on the first hit and gained Forward Guard on that first hit as well, making it completely Forward Guard as a skill. And Core Blooming Death got animation improvement. When I say lost CC, I mean they lost CC in PvP. It's still obviously applied in PvE only. Essentially, a lot of classes got their protection gaps removed by giving them SA protection and then being fully protected or they gained more protection on their skills at the expense of PvP CC capability. This was good for PvE as it gave you more survivability, but depending on your class, the PvP implications were not great. Uh, some were actually really good because it gave you more survivability, but from the brief comments that I saw, a lot of people weren't too happy with it. The community response, I would say, has been mixed too negative hence the delay of this patch we'll see what happens in this week's test server patch either they'll revert the changes uh they'll decide to do something different we don't know right now but what i can tell you is things that did go live in korea in our servers so in korea even though things like super armor and forward guard changes didn't go through they did get things like the awakening wusa soul cleanse for the down attack added on the tooltip uh, for awakening witch the issue where the summons attack was triggered first when using the barrage of lightning skill and lightning blast during basic moves movement while Gortet was summoned that's been fixed things like that those went through in Korea there may have been some confusion thinking that super armor and forward guard changes did go through in Korea so to show you what was shown onto a server versus what is live right now in Korea uh, you can see this had SA in the server. This does not have SA on live servers. Meanwhile, the down attack tooltip change for Awakening Musa was on test server and again is on live servers. So the only thing that didn't go through was the SA changes. But moving on, we can talk about also some scholar changes. Uh, Flow Golden Pillar can now be used during cooldown with reduced damage and a cooldown of 4 seconds was added to that skill. CC does not apply on cooldown. Flow Golden Vines can now be used during cooldown with reduced damage and a 6 second cooldown was added. This also changes the add-on tier from 1 to 2, giving you greater duration of add-on effects. Hammer Strike can now be used during cooldown with reduced damage. Attraction and Gravity Anchor now have reduced cooldowns for levels under Absolute. This is not really a big deal unless you're still leveling your scholar nothing has changed for the absolute versions of those skills dropkick can now be used during cooldown with reduced damage cc does not apply on cooldown as well and action reaction accuracy rate passive now applies correctly in half percent increments before it wasn't for some reason hammer down cooldown for the first two levels of the skill have been reduced hammer punch first level of the skill has reduced cooldown hammer in the knee first three levels of that skill has reduced cooldown as well now when i say again first level second level three levels those are all the skills as you level the class when you reach 60 everything should be absolute so those little changes don't really affect you if you're already 60 on Scholar. For the one small stub skill, it now has a reduced cooldown of 8 seconds compared to 9 seconds on Absolute, so that does affect you if you're level 60 and above. One Giant Leap and Flow Golden Thunder can now reach the maximum damage increase based on fall height. BSR Potential Energy no longer applies DP increase effects during the third attack. The fall animation unique to Scholar will no longer activate so frequently when getting off mounts. And those were the balance changes for the week korea got that as well we got that as well 
pretty minor overall, I'd say, for Scholar, but let's see what this week's test server has to offer. For content updates, there were some changes. They have removed the season character condition to claim the Ted Blackstar weapon challenge. Skittish Afawaru will now drop time filled Blackstones. This is the Afawaru that spawns on season servers while you grind. Rift Echo will now give you three times the amount of time filled Blackstones. Any Fugar time pieces that you had left over in your inventory or storage after this maintenance will be deleted. For item updates, the icons for Metal Solvent, Manor's Trainer's Clothes, and Manos Gathering Clothes have been updated to look really good. Materials for combined craftable accessories like Debareka, Tungrad Earrings, Tungrad Rings, those have been changed. Abyssal Gaze, Spectre's Gaze, Jewel of Illusion, Ancient Power Shards, and Ancient Seal Shards have all been removed from the game. Instead, they have combined the drop rates from the previous items with the current drop rates for the full accessory drop in these areas. They added Tungrad Earring to the loot table in Histria. It is 1.25 times more than the drop rate of the Ancient Power black shard that used to drop here they have also replaced the jewel of illusion with debarica earrings in the black shrine blitz reward package you can now craft debarica earrings with the pretty pieces instead of the jewel of illusion and the recipe is now 20 tiers of illusion 400 hungic embers 200 magical lightstone crystals and 100 units fragments they have changed the ancient seal red shard to tungrat ring obtained from opening the traces of ancient seal item they have changed the icons for tet black star weapon boxes that you get from that one-time request they have reduced the health of grandpa crown gift boxes to help you get them faster for events starting on new year's you can have an item from just logging in that you can exchange to lara for a 10 hour buff of your choice with this maintenance you can now interact with your black spirit and receive a 24 percent item drop rate buff for two hours in exchange for 20 energy that's really good there will also be a one-time quest line to receive an event chest that will grant you all of these items you see here scarecrow training dummy leveling will now offer 50 percent more combat combat and skill xp we have brand new login rewards for the next month and for the pearl shop scholar now has all her outfits the camo items cooking outfit fisher outfit shark outfit alchemy outfit farming outfit and the trainer's outfit are all on sale they have also added a new fairy appearance change coupon that lets you change the appearance of your fairy to one wearing a venicil outfit or a Cabelius outfit. The Venicel outfit for Fairy will grant you a 10% processing XP bonus, and the Cabelius version will grant you a minus 5% death penalty effect. You can only buy these once per account. There's also two items you can buy with silver in the Pearl Shop that will grant you some items. The first package is available as soon as you log in, and the second one will be available after the new year. And that's it for this week's patch. Let me know your thoughts on the proposed class balance changes to added protections. I've seen a lot of people that want these changes to go through, and I've also seen a lot of people that adamantly don't want these protection changes to go through. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And as an aside, I just want to wish you guys a happy holidays to you and your families. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.